Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to add custom domain name using the Azure Active Directory portal. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So what happens is let's say let's take up a scenario here. Every new Azure AD tenant comes with an initial domain name. So if I show you the domain name that I have on my Azure AD would be you go here you click on Azure Active Directory it's my default directory and in the overview section let me show you the name here so here it is primary v2 microsoft.com you cannot change it or delete the initial domain name but you can add your organization's name to the list adding custom domain names help you to create usernames that are familiar to your users so if i if in case i add a custom domain name with this primary domain name then the users uh, the upn of you my users for example let's say i have a username john would be john at whatever my custom domain is all right so how do we add it so you are in your azure active directory and in here you have this option custom domain names click on it like i've added the page.com so i can delete it it was done for just a lab delete it and now if you want to add a custom domain name click on add custom domain name and uh, let's say i add stop being lazy person.com so i have this domain name with me so i click on add domain now see what it does it it says uh, to use stop being lazy person.com with your azure ad create a new text record with your domain name registrar using the below info so this would be the test record or if you want to create an mx record it would be like this so let's say i have my domain name stop being lazy person.com domain name hosted on godaddy so i'll go my go on to my godaddy india login page i click on here it'll take me to the login page i sign in click on sign in i mean you you might be using any other public dns or internal dns but i am using godaddy to have my domain set up i'm logged on to my domain now i go to my domain here i click on dns so this these are the records that are created so it is asking me this thing is asking me to create a txt record uh, pointed to a destination or point address this ttl is this so i am gonna go here i'm gonna add a txt record right host would at like in here txt value i'm gonna copy it paste it ttl is 3600 which is one hour i'm gonna click on save i added a txt record here so this is unverified so i have created it it'll take some time for it to populated i'm going to click on verify it is verifying the domain name stop being c successfully verified domain name so it says verification succeeded and it says to configure stop being lazy person.com for federated sign on to your azure ad uh, connect to your local network so if i want to download azure ad and then i want to enable single sign on onto this domain name that i have added i will have to use uh, the azure ad and then sync my on-prem ad or extend my on-prem ad to the cloud but i don't want to do it and i don't want to make it primary i'll tell you the reason why so i go here it says verified so original domain name was the uh, v2 usherlive.onmicrosoft.com but the other domain name stop being lazy stop being lazy person.com that i have added is this record so if i if i now create a user 
and uh, make it a up and it's john at stoppinglazyperson.com i can do it because it is the custom domain that i have added onto my azure ad and now if you want to add the dns information to the domain registrar so this is how you add a custom domain right so if i go and access it i can navigate it to this so this was just for the lab i can go here i can you know edit it i can delete this record because this is supposed i would i did just for the lab i can go here i can click on it if you will refresh it you will see that it is unverified okay it will take time but if you will go here you can want to remove it you just click on delete and you click on refresh you click on delete it's going to delete it and we are back to where we were so i just wanted to show you how you add the custom domain so i hope you liked this video if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section till next time have a good day ahead bye bye